Do you guys remember in the Jim and I did December 2020 releases video of mine, I said that I would do anything to get this model. And well, two months later, I have it. Let's get to the unboxing. So it's in a pretty weird box. I did get it from Diecast Airplane Store, as you guys can see. Um, I don't know why Diecast Airplane packages uh, the model so weird. Like, you're supposed to put the packing label here where the tape is, but they didn't, which is a, it's a bit funky. Um, but I mean, it's still a model, so uh, you guys are going to actually be quite surprised that I actually was able to get this model. Uh, and this model... Okay. Okay. This model is the... Oh my gosh. So the box over there. Okay, this model is the Gemini Jets uh, Spirit Airbus A320 Neo. Uh, now, I've been wanting to get this model for quite a long time. Uh, I do need it for Newark. I got this for Newark. Um, and also Atlantic City. I'll tell you guys about Atlantic City at the end of the video. But I got this for um, Newark mostly because Spirit actually do fly the A320 Neo to Newark. Um, they fly the A320 Neo to uh, Las Vegas, Fort Lauderdale, and Tampa. Uh, and then also, um, as you guys can see, right over there, I have my Spirit AC20 Neos. But uh, basically, I got those uh, Spirit AC21s, sorry. Those Spirit AC21s, not only did I get those for Newark too, but I also got them for, pardon me, uh, for uh, Atlantic City because Spirit, if you don't know, is the only airline that flies to Atlantic City International Airport. They fly to a multitude of destinations, Florida, Atlanta, etc., etc. Uh, Spirit fly the AT21s uh, from, uh, you know, Atlantic City to uh, Tampa and Fort Lauderdale, along with Atlanta with the AT20 Neo. So, yeah, before we get to the model, we have to first get to the box. So, looking at the box, you have the general, generic Gemini's box. You have a Gemini's logo, uh, Spirit. Uh, clip part of the aircraft, Airbus A320 Neo down here, uh, Spirit Airlines logo. Uh, look inside, here is the flap, and of course, here's the flap so you guys can read it. Pause the video to read it. Okay, that was the flap, the model's in there, and uh, 1 to 400 scale die cast model aircraft. Uh, on the side, it's just uh, normal Gemini Jets. You have the clip out of the aircraft Gemini Jets logo. Uh, this side, adult collectible model. You have the item number Gemini Jets logo. And uh, you have the clip out of the aircraft on the side. And then on the back here, you have the um, as real as it gets. You have the clip out of the aircraft and um, the when the model is released. So it's 2020, as you guys can see, December 2020. But, um, yeah, now the anticipation for me has been building up, and now let's finally get to see this model. Um, and it's just normal, uh, packaging, uh, Gemini just packaging. You have the plastic tray, and oh my gosh, wow. This looks really nice. Um, I hope it's, I hope it doesn't come broken. Um, and looks like... Looks like the model's intact. Wow, this is the Gemini Jets Spirit A320 Neo, as you guys can see. And now let's move on to the detail segment. Setting off with the detail segment for this model, you have the cockpit windows. You have the very, very tiny uh, Airbus A320 Neo logo in black. You have the L1 door, forward landing gear with uh, the numbers and the registration for the aircraft, which is 902. Uh, and that's in black uh, and yellow on the landing gear, which is the landing gear doors uh, on the front landing gear. And then here you have the white uh, antenna. Moving on uh, down the aircraft, you have the Spirit logo in black. Now, I really like how Spirit did this, how they designed this, how it's like it's scuffed up in yellow. They make it look like it's scuffed up, like rough. And I like it how sort of like childish it is. Like, you know how like a normal airline like United would have like a full logo. And I just enjoy how like scuffed up they make it. Like, so that makes it look like almost childish. I love that. Um, and there's, I also heard these rumors that like they're gonna take this off their logo and it's just gonna be a black logo with no yellow lines in it. I hope that's not the case because then that would just make Spirit like every single other airline and it really won't make them original. Um, I hope that's not gonna be the case, but 
um please comment down below if it is i don't follow i haven't been following it lately so yeah are they gonna make this black or are they just gonna keep it i don't know uh but honestly i don't know but yeah moving on down the aircraft you have uh the two emergency exits you have the arrows on the wing which show you which way to go and um you have the engines which say home of the bear fair and i really like how much detail gemini put into this uh mold i love it the just the sheer amount of detail with the engines like you can actually see the individual fan blades which is really 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 cool uh, and another thing that many of you i know you guys will be happy about is just let me take the tripod here uh the camera and then something that you guys are really gonna like the engines as you guys can see the engines are actually for the first time not touching the ground there is literally um i believe it's like five tenths of a centimeter or something like half a centimeter of space between the ground and the engines which is really really nice considering that i've seen people uh with the past a20 uh a320 neos complaining that there have been problems with this but yeah that's something that i'm really really happy about that gemini actually finally fixed and let's get back to uh the detail segment and here on the wings it says spirit.com you guys can see spirit.com and actually on the winglets it's actually quite accurate it says howdy um basically that's kind of like spirits another thing whoever they have an aircraft with like sharklets um or any winglets of any type they always put spirit.com on the winglets which is just another way of free advertising which is something that um budget airlines like spirit do low-cost carriers this is gonna focus it's not gonna focus okay but um yeah you guys saw the spirit.com which is something they actually do on their winglets um which i don't know if i kind i don't know if i like it how they do this but yeah there's nothing that i can really do about it and um the them putting the howdy on the winglets that's actually accurate um and they actually made it pretty accurate. Like, it's not cut off. Like, on my um, NG Spirit AC21, it's it's a little bit disappointing how it's cut off. The Howdy is, uh, as you guys could see, it's cut off. Like, they didn't have enough room when they did. All they need to do is move it up. So, yeah, that's something, another thing that Gemini sort of, you know, wins uh, in that category. But, yeah, the Howdy's actually accurate because... On the Spirit AC20, uh, AC21, I flew, basically in April 2019, I flew a, um, uh, not Gemini, just, I flew a Spirit AC21, uh, from Atlantic City to Fort Lauderdale, and Fort Lauderdale and back, uh, after I went, uh, before and after I went on a cruise, uh, cause I live in New Jersey, obviously, and basically, the helmet is actually accurate, I actually have a picture, I'll put it up right now, yeah, that was the picture from the um flight that i was on early morning but it was really really beautiful um how the howdy was on the wing i really enjoyed that uh because it just adds you know the sort of childishness uh of like a little kid you know it's like howdy you know uh but i don't know if it's just me whatever um anywho moving on down the aircraft you have the white antennas that antenna actually the antenna actually looks scuffed up um it's not a big deal it's not something like anything major but still kind of mm, kind of disappoints me though but i mean it's better than the air india 788 that i got uh, i'll put a card up right now it's better than that um where i had a bent winglet so yeah anywho moving on down the aircraft you have here you have another white antenna you have the l2 door you have the aircraft registration in black which is november 902 november kilo or n902 nk <coughs> excuse me um and then um below the logo you have the american flag like i said the l2 door and then, of course, you have the elevators and the Spirit logo on the tail. And, of course, on the bottom of the aircraft, the landing gear does roll. Surprising, well, not surprisingly, but the landing gear actually does roll, as you guys can see. It's rolling landing gear. Um, just quite accurate um, on the bottom of the aircraft. And, of course, all the landing gear on the aircraft does roll. And I have a piece of lint stuck in between my... Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, and then here you have the tiny Gemini logo, as you guys can see. It's really, really small. I'm glad... 
I kind of am glad though that they made the logo smaller because on their um, older aircraft, like uh, Gemini Jets 2, uh, older Gemini Jets, they would have the logo that w that's like really big underneath the aircraft, which is kind of annoying when you're trying to have like a, um, um, you know, bottom of the aircraft when you're trying to show people. But uh, yeah, and um. Like I said, that's the bottom of the aircraft, and really the only difference between the left side of the aircraft, which is what I guys, what I just showed you guys, and the right side of the aircraft is that on the right, as you guys can see, if this camera will focus, um, as you guys can see, there is uh, cargo doors here, very, very uh, uh, distinct here. You have two of them. And on the left side, there is none. But, um, yeah. This model is really, really, really nice. Um, there really, personally, for me, there doesn't seem to be a flaw with it. Like, I was skeptical when I bought it because I was thinking, like, what if it comes to me, you know, with the massive, massive engines and, you know, massive, you know, defects and all that. But surprisingly, it didn't, which is like, wow. And also this, I'm really happy that I also got this because this was the seventh model left in stock on Diecast Airplane Store. Because this model is selling out almost everywhere you go. It even sold out on Gemini Jets' website, which shows you how popular it is. And I'm really glad that I was able to get my hands on one, you know, before they sold out. Now, this is actually the first model that I think personally doesn't have any flaws. I love everything about it. Um, from the way Jim and I fixed the engines to the way they actually made uh, what's on the winglets accurate. Everything about this model is, is, is perfect. I honestly think that with this um, AC20 Neo mold, Jim and I can really go a long way because they really redeem themselves with how the engines don't touch the ground um, and so many other flaws that was on this model uh, before I believe they improved the mold. So really, there's no kinks for me. I love the model, 100%. I suggest you get it. If you can before it sells out, really, you should get it if you're thinking about getting it because this is a wonderful model in every single way. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe to the notification bell, and comment down below what mistakes I made and how you guys think I should improve on my channel. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.